Hello all, welcome to Tech Trapture. In this video, we are going to see what are startup script in GCP Compute Engine or how to automate a VM configuration or repetitive manual task using a startup script. So we can use startup script either in Linux VM or a Windows VM. So uh, we'll see uh, how we can use this startup script. So before start, let me introduce myself. So myself Vishal Bulbule. I'm currently working as a professional cloud architect. I'm already completed a few of my uh, GCP certifications. So now uh, before starting, I will first uh, give you background of this uh, session. So in this session, uh, we are going to create one uh, demo instance and we are going to perform uh, some manual task once the VM is created and then we'll see how we can automate that manual repetitive task using the startup script. So let me go to the console and uh, compute engine service so here i already created a one instance vm instance okay so i already created this instance so i will log in into this instance using a cloud shell so instead of using a direct ssh button i will use a cloud shell to log in into this a vm uh, instance Okay, my cloud shell is open. So let me log in into the VM instance using the command gcloud compute ssh then on the VM name and then I can give the zone which is US central one iPhone A. So let me log in now. So these are the background operation performed whenever we are logging into the, any of this uh, virtual machine. Okay, so I'm already logged in into the virtual machine now. So uh, just assume, so I'll note it down here. So what are the manual operation I have to perform whenever I'm creating a new virtual machine. So first thing I have to update uh, packages. Then just take example, I have to install Apache and then i have to create one apache service then just assume i have to create uh, one folder these are the four operation i have to perform whenever i am creating any new virtual machine so let's first check how we can do all this operation. So first I will use sudo apt-get update to update the packages. Okay. Then I will use one command sudo apt install apache2 to install apache. And then I'll just create one basic service to print the content on my external IP. So I am printing. This is my web application whenever I am hitting an IP address. So let me check. If I get a same response. Yes, and the same message is uh, displayed in the browser. Now I want to automate all these uh, steps using the startup script in a uh, Linux virtual machine. So that suppose I have uh, 10 number of VMs I want to create and each virtual machine, these steps uh, should be performed automatically. So how I can do that? So first let me note down the commands I have used. So from this i'll just uh, copy the command i used so first command i use sudo apt get update 
So I copied this command and then then I use this command to install Apache. And then I used one command to create a sample web service. So this is this last command. Okay, so again, I want to create one folder as a fourth step. So let me create one folder. I will do sudo mkdir slash apps okay so let me do cd slash apps and i mean apps folder so i want to create this one folder as well so i'll make a note of this command as well so these are the steps i want to automate uh, using a startup script so what i will do i will create a new virtual machine now So I'll open this virtual machine and I'll just click on a create similar. So it will create a exactly similar virtual machine if we won't change uh, anything. So I'll change the name from land demo to land demo 2 and then now instead of uh, doing all these steps manually i want to use the startup script so how we can use a startup script so if we are doing it using the console we have direct option here so in automation we can add this a startup script so for now i will just add all these command in startup script section as we are creating using the console okay and i'll just print few line here so first i will just write startup script started and then i'll just line add one more line at the end that startup script completed so that we'll be aware when the startup script started execution in the logs now I will save this and I will create a virtual machine. Okay, now when the virtual machine is being created, what will happen? So whenever we are creating a startup script or we are creating virtual machine using the startup script. So our compute engine does the following action. So it will copy the startup script to the virtual machine. It will set permission on the startup script so to execute any script we need execute permission on that script so it will set that required permission and then it will run the startup script as a root user or a sudo user whenever your vm boots so let's see if our vm is getting created so let's refresh our page and see if vm is getting created and then now if our startup script executed successfully then this ip should reflect the same message as our earlier vm on the browser okay so let me copy this ip address and let me print in the browser or let me check in the browser if it installed apache service okay now you could see without logging into the virtual machine we use startup script and it automatically perform all these steps now how to check our startup script is executed successfully or not so we can check the logs so where we can check the startup script log so open your vm and here in serial port 1 console we can check our startup scripts log so okay so i am just scrolling down you can either directly run startup iphone script and check where your startup script is started so here you could see this is a message I printed startup script started. So here it is started and then it will perform all our steps. And it is performing all our operations. So it is executing this. And here we got some error also, but like it's 
duplicate so it's error so do not worry about that and then we should have our another message startup script completed not sure it printed okay but we could see our processes are so here first thing is it's updating the package so all these are can be checked using this metadata script runner logs so here it is installing apache so it's completed the startup script here is the apache server it's installed and we could see we able to automate this using the startup script on a linux machine now suppose if we have a startup script which we don't want to copy inside automation section or our script is big enough so we don't want to put it here so we can use a metadata key and we can store our script in the gcs bucket location so i have a uh, one script stored in my gcs bucket so let me open another tab and show you the scripts from there so i'll just open a storage bucket or a cloud storage and inside this i have one bucket created okay and if i open bucket you could see one script test.sh here so i have this uh, one script test.sh so this script i want to use as uh, my startup script okay so let me show you the content also of this script so now what i am doing is i am so currently what it is printing is uh, this is my application now once i execute once I attach this startup script and restart my VM, it will execute the script from the storage bucket and it should print a new message. So whatever message I am displaying. So now what message I am displaying? So this is my web application installed from storage bucket script. So earlier I am using only this is my web application. So what I need to do, I'll just need to copy this uh, GSUtil URI path. I'll copy this and this I will use inside my a metadata key. So how to use this metadata key? So here we have two options. One is startup script. Another is startup script hyphen URL. Now I will use the second metadata key startup script hyphen URL and then I will provide my storage bucket path. So I'll go to metadata. Uh, let me find here quickly metadata okay and here let me add item now so i'll add item startup scripts hyphen url so i am just adding this startup script hyphen url so let me remove yes so this is only startup script not a script and i will give the path here okay so before that one thing you need to check that your vm is having access to your storage bucket so that you can check using the scope so allow default access so when you are having a default access it means your virtual machine is having read only access to storage bucket so that is sufficient to execute a startup script so let me remove this content now from automation script and let me save and once it is saved i will restart the virtual machine so it will again uh, read the new startup script and instead of this old content it will print a new content that is installed from storage bucket script so once it is saved uh, i will restart my virtual machine so let me verify once again yeah so startup script url i have added here with the path so now let me restart my virtual machine so i'll stop and start so meanwhile i'll pause this video because it will take time couple of minutes to start and 
uh, stop the virtual machine okay uh, vm is started now so let me see the logs to check if our startup script from the storage bucket is executed so in this startup script we are just checking the apache 2 status and then we are just instead of printing only this is my web application we are printing this is my web application installed from storage bucket script so currently this message is this is my web applications only so let me verify the logs and once logs are verified i'll just reload the url and it should update the service content so here let me grip or find with startup scripts yeah and i could see it is checking the apache 2 status using our this first command and then it should print the content in the service yes this is my web application installed and this is the startup script executed line which we printed okay it means our startup script is executed successfully using storage bucket script as well so now let me reload this page and it should update our content so okay one more thing if we are restarting the virtual machine our external ip will change so let me verify what is the external ip now okay so external ip is 132 now so let me use this ip and you could see this is a web application installed from storage bucket script so that it using the startup script using both the way using the automation section and using the metadata key and storing your startup script in storage bucket now if you are using the startup script in automation section then you have some limitation there on the size of the script but it is better option to store your script in the storage bucket and from that you can execute your startup script on your virtual machine to automate your vm configuration like mounting the disk creating folders enabling and disabling firewall or installing packages so all these kind of stuff you can automate using the startup script so next video we will see how we can automate a windows virtual machine configuration using the